Welcome back, everybody. My next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian making his network television debut. Please welcome Owen Smith. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so I'm married. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I got married later in life, so my wife is older. She's not older than me. She's just older than what I thought my wife would be. <laughs> like, my ego wanted one in her 20s, you know, because it's easy to impress a woman in her 20s. All you need is a place with two bathrooms. <laughs> Ooh, are those two bathrooms? Ooh, you a baller. Ooh, flush, flush. Ooh, who is you? <laughs> but girls in their 20s be like, I want you to be faithful and have a six pack. You need to choose. <laughs> See, I'm not working that hard for just you. <laughs> I needed to hop up a decade to find my person. Yeah. I needed me a woman with ailments. I needed a deviated septum in my life. <laughs> Doctor say it's deviated. <laughs> I see your two little bathrooms. <laughs> I fell for my wife on our second date. Those ailments were real. We went for a walk, and I remember she just yelled out, slow down. I don't have no cartilage in my left knee, OK? <laughs> I am in love. <laughs> if she not on dialysis, we might be a match. <laughs> Fellas, I'm telling you, when you are ready for a wife, I highly recommend women in their 30s. They know who they are. They live life a little bit, so they got crazy stories. Then he locked me in the closet. <laughs> but the sexiest thing about him Sexiest thing about women in their 30s is they've had their princess dream knocked right out of them. Mm. They are just the right amount of bitter. Mm. Woo! And if you meet a woman over 35 and single, I'm willing to bet that was not the plan. Yeah, single women over 35 have been lied to before. So she's not going to believe nothing you say. Every time you talk, you're going to feel like you're on law and order. You're going to be waiting to hear dung dung at the end of all your sentences. <laughs> my wife didn't trust my hello when we first met. Hey, beautiful, how you doing? Mm -mm, you don't know me like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Talking about hi. <laughs> she was suspicious of everything. When we were dating, it was raining outside, right? I came in the house wet from the rain. Hey, baby, mm -mm, why you wet? What's all this right here? <laughs> Baby, it's raining outside. Just checking. <laughs> Who lied to you about the weather before? <laughs> Who tricked you about outside, baby? <laughs> it's just outside. Don't worry about all that. Again, before we were dating, I live in Los Angeles, and I had a gig here, right? And she wanted me to call her as soon as my flight landed, you know, for the check-in. Yeah. I did it, too. Hey, baby, I'm in New York. And I found myself in this weird section with all the husbands doing it. Yep, we made it. Yep, we're safe. <laughs> call you from the hotel in 45. <laughs> Turning on location services. Then she goes, you in New York? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby, I'm here. Then take a picture with the paper. <laughs> what? Find a newspaper, take a picture with it, text it to me. I like New York newspapers. <laughs> Don't they do that with kidnap victims? <laughs> I never heard nothing like that in my life, so I asked the married dudes, yo, what should I do? You better find a paper. Like, we became a team. I don't even know these dudes. They took my camera phone, showed me how to stand with the paper. 
One dude kept yelling, point at the date! Point at the date! <laughs> they took my picture, I texted to her, I called her like it was a nasty pic. Like, yo, you get my pages? <laughs> That's all me right there. Yeah, I got it. You think I'm stupid or something, Owen? Hmm? Do I look like Boo Boo the Fool to you? Is that what we doing? The New York Times? I asked you to send me a paper to prove you in New York and you send me a national newspaper. <laughs> well, what you want? If you really in New York, I want the Daily News. Married dudes went, yo, she know her periodicals. So I had to go back in the airport, stand in line, buy a plane ticket to New York. <laughs> you can see him regularly at the world famous comedy store in Los Angeles, Owen Smith, everybody, we'll be right back. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's gonna happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.